What's going on guys? Dorko back again. Hope you are fantastic today. And today I wanted to discuss with you guys the best secrets and hidden easter eggs in sister location. Now the reason why I wanted to do this, it's not a top 10. I'm not going to name it a top 10 because I know you guys don't like that. Um, but it's basically my personal favourite highlights of sister location because to me guys, sister location personally was the best FNAF game out of all of them. It was a really good game and I know a lot of you guys enjoyed it too. And it had a lot of secrets and easter eggs in the game as well. So, spoiler warning guys, this does have spoilers in to do with the lore. I'm not going to just talk about the easter eggs, I'm going to talk about why that helps with the lore. Because some of the easter eggs do help with the story of Five Nights at Freddy's, so they do contain spoilers. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one and also let me know in the comment section down below what your favourite easter egg or what your favourite part in Sister Location was. Okay, so the first one was actually found by Pop Goes and it's really, really interesting. In Sister Location, you can randomly get blueprints of some of the animatronics. But Funtime Freddy is really, really important. If you have a look in the stomach of Funtime Freddy, you can see a child's body inside. There's actually a caption what says D towards it, and that's called a storage tank. This storage tank is directly used to shove kids inside to hide and to kill. Not only that, if you look at the caption C on the blueprint, it says voice mimic. That's all fine, but look next to it, it says luring. This animatronic was designed to lure kids and kill them and hide the body in the stomach. How crazy is that? And it also shows more details that these animatronics were designed to kill children. Not to entertain kids, to kill children. We'll see more about that in a minute, guys, when I talk about Baby. The next one is an Easter egg, which we don't know is canon yet. In the primary control room, if you walk in, you get a random chance of the Ennard Mask turning into Lolbit. Now, Lolbit was a character in Five Nights at Freddy's World, if none of you guys have played it, and she was actually the shopkeeper. Lolbit is basically a colour variation of Funtime Foxy. You can see that the colour variation has changed its ears to gold, and the mouth to gold too. But we don't know whether this is canon or not. Some Easter eggs could be just part of fun. Because why would Lolbit be here at this sister location? Maybe Scott's hinting that some of this, some of the FNAF world animatronics are actually canon. And they were actually built in some different pizzerias. What we haven't seen yet. Okay now another really cool one. Which you guys might have not seen yet. Because it's really difficult to see. Is... On night 5, when you do the baby code on her ear, and you press the green button to move her to the scooper room, you can actually see an endoskeleton of baby in the background. Now, this is really, really hard to see. Um, the best way to see it is as soon as you press the green button, look directly at baby's face, and you will see the endoskeleton and, and in really good detail at first behind baby, and then it moves into the darkness. You can actually see what it looks like without the darkness covering it because someone found them in the game files and here is the endoskeleton. So yeah, it's really interesting how Scott has done this because literally when I discovered this, I thought it, I didn't even see it was there at first, but I bet the game again and I saw it in the darkness. It's really, really hard to see. Speaking more about Baby, there is actually... It's not really, it is kind of a secret because this is more how to get the secret ending in Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. If you do the baby minigame correctly, you actually get an ice cream. And if you go back all the way to the start with the ice cream, you place the ice cream on the floor and it lures a kid out. As soon as the child goes towards baby, a big machine grabs the child and draws it into a stomach. Just like I was talking about with Funtime Freddy, that um, Funtime Freddy lures kids and sh stuffs them into his belly. I think this is what Baby did as well. Now, Baby goes into more context with this in Night 3, when you hide under the desk. And she tells a story about her killing a child, a girl, when she goes towards it. Now, this girl must seem to be William Afton's daughter. The daughter talks about Baby in such detail, saying she wants to see it but the dad won't let her see it. Then eventually onto the nights, you hear the child eventually going to baby saying she thinks it's wonderful, she thinks it's amazing, 
and she ends up dying in this fight. Because we've done that with Baby, we actually unlock a key card. This key card can be used to get into the biggest mind-blowing room which I've ever seen in any FNAF game. When you've got the key card at the end of Night 5, do the code with Baby and leave the room. Instead of following Baby's instructions, go all the way to the right, holding W and D and Shift and looking to the right. It will say access granted and you will be in a really, really creepy but interesting, mind-blowing room. The room is very similar to the Five Nights at Freddy's 1 location and it has a lot of easter eggs. You see Fred, the Fredbear plush holding a walkie-talkie but you see Ennard as well and you hear loads of quotes from Baby and your own daughter. It's a big mind blow, it's absolutely mind blowing and we still need to investigate on what this place is. Some people have said that this is a testing facility. So whoever's created this underground location is absolutely crazy. While you're in that secret room, you can actually put a code on the wall. If you put the code 1983, and this is the big mind blowing part, the TV screens turn into camera viewings of the FNAF 4 bedroom and fun time with Plush Trap. That was the biggest mind blowing thing I've ever seen. It's so crazy that we never thought that there was camera systems in the FNAF 4 bedroom. Never mind someone actually watching the FNAF 4 bedrooms. It's either that um, the child's father had a very paranoid dad who wanted to keep an eye on him, or it could even be more twisted and dark, and it's actually like a torture thing where he's trying to see what happens. Like a test, like again, a testing facility where he wants to watch his child uh, be scared and stuff. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy, and it links more with Five Nights at Freddy's Fort, which again, I'm going to show you another more mind-boggling theory on the links between Sister Location and Five Nights at Freddy's Fort. In the breaker room, when you're trying to repair the power when Funtime Freddy is there, have a look closer to the map. This map shows three key locations linked with Five Nights at Freddy's Fort. At the bottom left, we'll kick it off. The map is exactly the same as Fun Time with Plush Trap. You've got the straight corridor with four different doors from left to right. It's perfect, and not only that, it has a little, uh, a little dark square where the animatronic should be placed and a white square where the player is. Again, at the top left, this is the map of the Five Nights at Freddy's 4 minigames. You start at the house, you go down the road, right up, and there is the pizzeria. And it also shows two grey squares, which is Fredbear and Spring Bonnie. It's absolutely perfect, but another mind-blowing one, again, is if you look at the far right, it is the map of the FNAF 4 bedroom. It all fits perfectly together, and it links Sister Location with Five Nights at Freddy's 4 once more. Now, there's been a lot of theories about this. Sister Location is underground. People have theorised that this sister location underground base is underground, the whole basically area of Five Nights at Freddy's 4. So under the pizzeria, under the child's bedroom, under the street of Five Nights at Freddy's 4. So yeah, we're still working on some theories on why sister location is so linked with Five Nights at Freddy's 4, but again, it's really interesting and a big mind blow. Okay, now these are really, really interesting, again, more interesting easter eggs or sightings which are really interesting. This one's a very debating one which, which was only discovered the other day. If you look at Ennard's mask when he jump scares you, you see a reflection of an eyeball which looks like an animatronic. Now the reflection is interesting. Some people have said it's an eyeball on one of Ennard's arms, but if you look closely, Ennard has an eye on its right arm. On the reflection of its mask, the eye looks more towards the left, and Ennard doesn't have an eye on his left arm. There could be a theory that possibly Ennard is wrapping his arms around the player, which is why we see the arm. Or, the mind-blowing one, is that we are actually playing as an animatronic or an endoskeleton. Now, there's been loads of theories already that this is a mind-blower. In Five Nights at Freddy's 1 and 2, the animatronics are after us because Phone Guy said... They think that we're an endoskeleton. 
What if we are an endoskeleton? Like I said, it's really, really interesting. We could be an endoskeleton because, like I said, it's a testing facility. Maybe someone's twisted and wants to see an endoskeleton or a robot being tortured constantly by animatronics or something like that. It contradicts with the fact that we got scooped and turned into a human animatronic. Baby says that we're the only one who can be used to, to, to let them free. So you never know, maybe it was an endoskeleton already in a humanized body. And all they've done is just took out the old endoskeleton and put them themselves, them, themselves inside of it. And the last little cool easter egg I want to show you guys is the Funtime Fredbear endoskeleton. Now this one is crazy because it looks to me and everybody else thinks that there was a fun time Fredbear in the works at sister location. Take a look. Now this easter egg can be seen if you go through the fun time, fun time auditorium. If you sometimes if you flash the light you get to see this guy instead of fun time Foxy. Now people definitely think that this is a fun time Fredbear or Golden Freddy endoskeleton because it's exactly the same as fun time Freddy but it doesn't have a hand puppet, it has an actual hand and it has a different eye colour which is a golden brown colour. Now again it's really really interesting because we've never actually seen the shell of fun time Fredbear before. We only see its endoskeleton. There you go guys, I really hope you enjoyed my favourite easter eggs and secrets in Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. It was a mind blowing game and I'm looking forward to giving you guys some theories and more gameplay videos on Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and again, let me know your guys favourite part of Sister Location. And make sure to subscribe and like and I'll see you all next time.